So this question is a diagram question. More specifically, it is a graph question, right? We see our graph. So the question says, which of the following could be the equation of the graph above? Well, there's quite a bit we can use here. So I always look for x-intercepts because these are points on the graph that are obvious, meaning that I know that this point is exactly uh, 2 comma 0, right? Whereas like here, I don't know what that point is exactly. I can guesstimate at it, but I'm not really certain, right? I know that this is 0 comma 0, and I know that this is negative 3 comma 0. So I can always take these points and plug them in. I, I can plug in the x value and see if I get the corresponding y value. So let's try that with 2 comma 0. If you were to try that with 2, 0, you would see that A and B are possibilities because of this x minus 2 here, right? If I plugged in x equals 2, it would make y equals 0 in both those cases. But when I plug in 2 for C and D, neither of those become 0, so those are crossed out. So it's a good, it's a good thing to do. We just tried one ordered pair, and we now narrow down our answer to only two choices. I can do the same thing with negative 3, 0, but you'll see that both A and B have x plus 3, which means plugging negative 3 in for x will give us y equals 0 for both cases, so there's nothing else I can cross out. And then also, using the origin, 0, 0, plugging in 0 for x will give us y equals 0 for both A and B because of the x's in front. So I like to do something that you probably learn in middle school, and say, well, what if I just kind of figured out some of this graph myself? Um, I always like to use, right, let's just use negative 2, negative 1, 0, positive 1, and positive 2. And we're going to start out with answer choice A. So it's going to be like my A graph. So with A, if x were negative 2, I'd have y equals negative 2, parentheses, negative 2 minus 2 is negative 4, and then negative 2 plus 3 is positive 1. And it looks like that's all going to be a positive 8, right? Negative 2 times negative 4 is positive 8. So it gives me y equals 8. I look at my graph, however, and when I have x is negative 2, I'm down here. In fact, I'm down here like somewhere below negative 10. This graph is telling me that I should be a positive 8 if I'm using choice A which tells me then that choice A is wrong and choice B must be the correct answer. But let's just test choice B, at least for, at least for um, where the negative 2 point. I won't go through the entire table, but at least for the negative 2 point. So for choice B, I have y equals and then 2 squared, which makes it negative 2 squared, and then negative 2 minus 2, which is negative 4, and negative 2 plus 3, which is positive 1. And then negative 2 squared, right, is positive 4. Bring all this down. Positive 4 times negative 4 is negative 16. Of course, negative 16 times 1 remains negative 16. So this is saying that when x is negative 2, we should have a y value that is negative 16. And that looks pretty good, right? It looks like at least it's lower. It's, at least it's where we expect it to be, right, which is under negative 10. So that makes me feel better about B being the correct answer.